Hey guys, good morning. Dave Santarelli here from Santarelli Trading Exchange. We finally had the firewall and internet fixed on Friday. The office here upgraded uh, the firewall and everything, and we had some problems with that. So finally, everything's fixed, back to normal. Um, I'm going to go over some quick charts here. First off, as you guys can see, Jeff Bezos sold 1.8 billion worth of Amazon shares, and uh, that stock was actually upgraded. The price target was upgraded to $2,400 a share today. Uh, Google was raised to $1,620 today. Chipotle was raised to $875, and it was raised again a little bit later to $1,050. Uh, Disney was raised to $160, and NXPI was raised to $146. And we could go over to the upgrades, downgrades. You can check those out right here at the bottom of the screen. Um, also, BLD, that was upgraded to buy today. Price target of 134 And then over to the left here on my notepad that I always have next to me, I have MasterCard, MA, Snapchat, SNAP, Microsoft, at MFST, Cisco at 49 Facebook 220, uh, Groupon 350 to 4 NVIDIA 260, Qualcomm 95 to 100 uh, MasterCard 350. Markets opening here, guys. Nice open here for our Facebook, Google, uh, Qualcomm. Groupon's up $1,000 today. The calls we have on that. I'm waiting for Square to kick in here. As you guys can see over here, if you guys remember correctly, let me get you on the screen here. If you guys remember for Square, we had a few days that we really didn't do much. If you guys remember, actually, right here, we were up quite significantly on our Square trade. The next day, we had a retracement, but I said, guys, our candle's still within the previous candle. We're in consolidation. That's why we drew this box. I said, if we break above this box, we're going to head higher. And we broke above that the other day. Our Square trade is up over 100% today at still climbing, breaking higher, over $82 a share. And we're going up to 85 as the next target resistance to $90 a share with Square. And if we zoom out a little bit more here, you can see we should be hitting new highs uh, pretty soon here from this last resistance area. And then I think we should have an easy uh, weighted $90 to possibly 100 bucks in the next few months here. So keep an eye on Square. That's in breakout momentum and it's looking great. Over to the right here. You guys could see Microsoft, MSFT, 183.36 a share right now. I think we're going to easily see $200 a share on this by April. I'm probably going to do something with a, you know, th three-month-out expo, which I'm going to be sending out as an alert today with new content on the BCA website, Breaking Chart Alerts. Good morning, Jorge Nunez, RRL, JoJo. Guys, also, if you guys are still in the L Brands trade, that one's was rocketing higher this morning, only up 24 now, but that's getting to our target. If you remember, our target was 25. What happened? We had the nice breakout here, which we captured. We bought in like right here, and we had that nice breakout. We sold, I think, right about here, 23 bucks a share, 23.50, locked in a nice profit. It retraced back down to that 10-day simple moving average, the yellow line right here, and then now she's breaking out further again. And that might be a good one. So I'm going to write that on my notepad here. LB 25 to 27 target and two plus months I'd be looking for with expo date for L Brands. So with an L Brands trade, guys, take a look first. Let me show you the account here. I'm going to show you on screen. Now these are the trades that we still have from previously. And if you guys remember, I said we're not selling them yet. We have the February 21st Expo. And this is why, guys, big profits today. The top one here is Cisco up 235, only down 43% overall, up 50% on that today. Uh, Disney, right here, I think I'm gonna cut that out. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. Um, next one here, this is Facebook. That one's up overall 
this here is a spread on Google I had going into earnings. Groupon, let's see, which one's that? This is Groupon right here, the one that's up 675. The one below that is Qualcomm. Uh, the one below that, this is our Q puts uh, that we got as a hedge the other day. Was holding on to that. 500. This is the space spread right here. And then here's the two square trades. And we're up $2,200 to start the day. Now let's take a look at Square because I'm up about 95% on my Square trades. Do I want to lock in profits or do I want to hold? Uh, let's take a look here at the option chain. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell our Square trade now. I'm happy with it. We're probably going to rise the rest of the week here, but I want to lock that in. So we have the February 7th call. We have the 79 strike. That's going for 310 by 330. Let's put in 315. How many contracts? I have 10 sell to close. Lower that down to 310. Just so I could get filled here and out of this. 305, that's fine with me. Sell to close. And do a 310. Let me just get rid of it, $3. Just want to get out of that trade, lock that profit in. The next one, there we go, that just sold. Now here's the next one, the February 21st. And this is the 75 strike call. I think this is the first one we picked up. 75, that's going for seven. Uh, let's see if we could get 720. 5-4, give it a little bit here. That was a nice trade, though. We're up almost $4,000 on this trade alone. Let's see, 7.15. See if we could get a couple more bucks out of it here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, sell it for 7. Sell it to close. See if we could get seven for it. Alrighty, that closed, guys. Now let me open up the E-Trade account, show you guys what we just did, what we just sold, and then I'm going to show you what I have left in the account. And everything came back beautifully for us there. Let me take a look at Disney quick. Disney's pulling back a little bit from this morning. I need to get rid of the Disney trade here. And here is what we locked in today. So as you guys can see, here is today's date, February 5th, February 5th. Realized, this is from E-Trade. Total gain, realized $4,479.10. What time is it? It's 9.38. We don't even start trading until 9.45. That's when I start making my trades usually. But look at that. Eight minutes in, already $4,479. Here's opening transaction. Here's the opening price, date, net amount. And then here's the closing transaction. Here is the date, price, and the net amount.
Alrighty, here's a symbol over here. So those were the square trades. These were 10, but it sold them in lots of five there. So nice gain, guys. Nice profit. Now let's go and look for our next trades.